We're here with Kostas Genendudius from the incredibly successful men's water polo team, Barakala Aferisto. <laughs> not bad, not bad. <laughs> I don't know what I said. I actually said that. I lived in you Crete for please, a month. Please and thank you. Please and thank you, yeah. I ate a lot of goat cheese down there, and uh, I was on a, an island there for, in Greece for a month one, one summer. It was fantastic when I was going to school in Europe. Yeah, it was man. great. So, um, you on the, uh, you know, how, first of all, how did you end up at USC? You're on, you know, Greek, and you call, did you call Jovan, or? Yeah, it's a funny story. I, uh, Jovan had no idea who I was, where I was from, what I did, and uh, I just, you know, I went to American high school in Greece, back in Athens, and uh, uh, for some reason, one of my uh, uh, teachers one day, he's like, hey, what do you think about going uh, to the States and playing water polo? I was like, I never thought about that. Let you me, were playing, obviously, huh? in Greece. Yeah, 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 I've been playing since I was eight years old. So uh, I looked up, and first thing that came up was USC, like two-time national champions. It was back in 2010. So I was like, oh, that's where I want to go if I want to go there, <laughs> you know. Uh, and I emailed Jovan. Uh, you know, nothing really happened. It was just, you know, who, you, who are you? Like, send me some videos, whatever. And I did. He didn't seem very interested in that summer. Uh, I played in a European Championship, and uh, so how, how old were you at this time? I was 17. Okay. And uh, I played in that European Championship with the Greek national team, under 18s, and uh, we got second place. We lost in the penalty shootout, but I got the MVP. And I immediately emailed Jovan the next day, and I was like, "Hey, so this is Did you know anything happened. about USC at this point? Not really. Never. No. Did you look? Did I mean, you I look looked it up. Yeah, obviously, and, but that's. You like, just knew a little bit about the water polo. Program. Yeah. I didn't know about any other team. Do you know any, really much about American universities? I know when you went to American school. Well, now I do. Yeah, but back I, then, I, I had very few. Like, but it background. was, I mean, were well, you determined to come to the United States? I wasn't to go determined. To school, I wasn't determined. Really? It was just, you know, just something like, clicked. like, yeah, something clicked, and, you know, things in Greece started going downhill yeah, with the tough. economy and everything. Yeah. So it was an opportunity. And, uh, when I went to that European Championship, I emailed Yovan. That's when I really like went after it, and I tried. And Yovan, as soon as I told him I got the MVP of that tournament, he he's like, "Give me your phone number. I'm calling you." So he called me. We had like a two-hour uh, phone call, and uh, you know, he called you. Huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, well, I was only 17 years old at that point, so uh, he's like, "Do you want to wait a year and then come?" And I was like, "Yeah." Sound good because I had graduated from high school when I was oh, 17, okay. and uh, so I went. I pretty much redshirted from okay. school, not water polo. I played water polo for a year on the national team, uh, on the Greek national uh, team, with my club team and the okay. national team. And I came here in 2011. Wow. Yeah, I mean, so this was your was this your first trip to the United States? Yeah. You I, end up at LAX and so you come over yeah. to USC. And what, what was your first impression of America? Um, totally different. I mean, I, I arrived the airport with my with my father and uh, I saw coach Pinta over there and he's like hey I was like hey you must be Marco he's, he's like yeah let's go I was like all right you know I was kind of nervous I saw the campus it was you know it was beautiful I was like all right I belong here it's, well, it's too late at that point to turn around right? yeah <laughs> <laughs> but I, what you had done a bunch of research this year while you were waiting to come in, right? You said we won another national yeah, championship, yeah. right? Yeah. Were you able to watch video of the? I didn't watch the game, no, because uh, I actually had practice during the game. You know, hour yeah, differences, yeah. and uh, it was a morning practice, and uh, I, you know, I found out. Jovan called me a few days later. I was like, "Oh, congratulations! Another, we're gonna get more together," and wow. it happened. Wow. Well, it's been an incredible, I mean, three-time All-American, three national championships. You're a nominee for the uh, Katina Award. Yeah. The Katina Award, which is the functional equivalent of the Heisman uh, Trophy. Uh, what is that name? What's the Katina Award awarded? Uh, May 30th, I think. Wow. Yeah. Maybe, oh, we've had, I don't know, three or four of those. It's, yeah. I mean, it's incredible. And, you know, here you are, our team's ranked number one again. Do you feel pressure after, does the team feel it a little bit that you've won six in a row and anything but a championship is a disappointment? Oh, yeah, totally. Really? I mean, that's a mentality that Jovan wants to pass the team. Like, we want to be winners. Jovan is, everybody knows, Jovan is the most successful uh, yeah. USC coach ever. And he it wants... Reminds to, me every time I see him. Yeah. <laughs> he wants to win more than anything else. And, uh, I mean, I was always like that, but... That's the mentality he wants to pass throughout the entire team, and uh, 
I mean, after six championships in a row, like a seventh one wouldn't harm, would it? Yeah. <laughs> and you guys have got the women's team rolling too. You know, oh, it's, it's just amazing. Yeah, yeah. Well, they, they're defending champions as mm -hmm. well. What is it about Jovan that makes him such a good coach? I've never seen a coach sacrifice so much for his team and, you know, he sacrifices so much from his family time, like his own time, life. Well, just half the team of relatives. What do you mean? He's not a bunch of kids. <laughs> uh, no, it's uh, he wakes up. Like one day he went over his schedule. He wakes up at like 4 a.m. Goes over a video of like the games we played the night before, the weekend before. Comes to practice. Uh, he, I mean, he watches video for like hours. It's not funny. It's. He's totally committed. Yeah, he's so committed and uh, he loves what he's doing. I mean, yeah. it's his life. Uh, I worry about him burning himself out. But I mean, because he does the men's and then he does he the women's and he then he does the club stuff. He loves it. Yeah. I mean, if you love something and you're so passionate like, about it, you, you never get tired of it or yeah. bored. And especially when you win so many championships. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't stop. Yeah. So. No, no. I hear, but but he has a daughter on the on the women's team, a son on the uh, men's team. He's got two younger children, I'm told, that are really good yeah. water polo players away. So we're going to see a lot of family members <laughs> here for the years to come. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Costas, the team was uh, touched by tragedy uh, this year with the death of one of your teammates, John Walters. Uh, that had to be very, very difficult for you and your teammates to go through. Yeah, unfortunately. How, how has the team dealt with that, or how did you deal with it? I mean, it was really hard in the beginning. Uh, I found out when I was in Greece, and it didn't really hit me until I came back here, and it was, you know, saw my teammates, and actually I got to talk a little bit, and. When we went to the memorial, that's when it really hit me. Like, it was, it was, I mean, probably one of the worst days of my life. I, I don't want to look back to it, but you know, everything we do from now on, it's for John. It's, I, I said it from the first moment. I, I hugged Jovan, I hugged Pinta, and my other coach, and I said, we're going to win number seven for John. And Jovan just looked at me. He's like, you better believe it. Well, Kostas, we are so thrilled that you're part of the Trojan family. You're a Trojan for life no matter where you live. So when you go back to Athens, it's good. Love to hear you. Fight on.